In this week's Torah portion, Pinchas, it is a continuation, basically, of last week's Torah portion, Bullock, when Bullock, the evil king, hired the evil Bilam to curse the Jewish people. That didn't work out so well. So he did not curse, but he blessed the Jewish people, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, he came up with another plan, and he said, well, if you really want to get God mad at Jewish people, make them sin with immorality. So he set up a system where they had all these markets set up with older women selling different fabrics and garments and stuff like that. And Jewish men would walk through and maybe buy a garment or so. And they said, well, we have a better price for you in back. In back was a great looking girl and she would control the market. And next thing you know, one thing led to another and a lot of Jewish men sinned in those marketplaces with these uh, idolaters. And before consorting, well, they would pull in an idol and they would worship idols. So that was a good way to start unfolding of different events and God caused the plague and a lot of people started dying. So this could be made into a Hollywood movie. Pinchas, which was one of Aaron's grandsons, took upon himself to stand up to the chaos that was going on. What was the catalyst to him standing up for the Jewish people ending the plague? Well, Zimri, which was the prince of the tribe of Shimon, decided that he was going to defend all these people and basically consort with a princess from Midian. This was a horrible thing. First of all, it demonstrated to other people that, you know, what he was doing was okay because this was a high, high level official. And Pinchas at that time was not a big person. And he decided to take upon himself to do something that nobody else would do. So this speaks of integrity. Sometimes you have to do what the others will not do. And part of the story is that God made Moses forget the laws of what happens in these kind of situations when somebody does something in public that they shouldn't do and cause other people to sin. So in the zealousness, Pinchas remembered the laws and he basically took a spear and he pierced right through the people committing the horrible crime and his time. So God presented several things. One, how did Moses forget it? This, this law, but he did it on purpose for somebody else to step up in this place, and Pinchas was the one to do it, without fanfare, against popularity, because people of that tribe wanted to kill him because they said, who are you to go after this prince of one of the tribes? So he did something that wasn't popular, but it was by God's law, and he did what was necessary to end the plague he stepped up when nobody else would step up, and it was an amazing thing. Also in the parsha of Pinchas, after the plague, after everything's been said and done, the Jewish people are ready to enter the land of Israel. God says, now do a census and count all the Jewish people from age of 20 and up that are conscripted for the army in order to conquer the land of Israel, we're about to cross. It was a beautiful thing. So this Parsha speaks about integrity, doing what is right, when nobody else is there to step up. Even when there are other leaders there, it's your job and your responsibility to step up your game and do the right thing. Don't wait on the greats. You can be great and you can be elevated to great things when you do the right thing. And at the same time, after all said and done, God counts the Jewish people like counting, you know, diamonds. This is who's going to be the next generation to lead on God's message from one generation to another generation. We are ready at that point to enter the land of Israel with great leaders and great people. Just do the right thing. Integrity, honor. It's all in your hands.